issues that remain, we've made progress toward concluding a new agreement for strengthening our science and technology relationship, and I would like to suggest that we instruct our effective delegations to redouble their efforts to conclude a new agreement, which for now... It's been a great pleasure to welcome Prime Minister Takshesta on his first visit to Washington since taking office in November. He is the leader of one of the world's great nations and one of America's most valued friends. Our meetings were constructive and amiable. We discussed the vital issues of the day and established an excellent personal rapport. Good personal relationships between the leaders of Japan and the United States are essential as our two nations strive to confront the challenges of this century and the next. During our discussions today, Prime Minister Takeshita and I found that our views on international questions coincide to a remarkable degree. We share an abiding commitment to democratic institutions and the free markets to protect freedom and human rights. We are dedicated to improving the economic well-being, not just of our own people, but of all mankind. In this regard, I was especially pleased with the Prime Minister's global economic perspective. He outlined significant plans for expanding Japanese domestic demand and stimulating growth. He reviewed Japan's plans to increase its foreign assistance budget next year to an amount second only to that of the United States. And he expressed Japan's determination to continue the process of economic adjustment. Prime Minister and I discussed and affirmed our support for the economic policy coordination process adopted at the Tokyo and Venice Economic Summits. A joint statement concerning our bilateral undertakings in that regard will be released shortly. The U.S.-Japan Treaty of Mutual Cooperation and Security is the foundation upon which our relationship is built. I was satisfied to note that U.S.-Japan cooperation in the national security area is strong and growing, and that Japan's recently announced budget provides for continued significant increases in the area of national defense. Japan's growing contribution to the maintenance of U.S. forces in Japan is of immense value to the United States. I might add that Japan's national defense program is entirely consistent 
with the concept of self-defense and in no way poses any threat to others. During our meetings, I briefed the Prime Minister on the details of last month's summit. We agreed on the benefits of the INF Treaty, and he was encouraged by the possibility of even further arms cuts with the Soviet Union. I was gratified that the Prime Minister expressed Japan's fullest support of our actions, and I assured him that we would consult fully with all of our allies as we continue our discussions with the Soviet Union. The Prime Minister and I recognized the danger posed to our mutual security in the export of certain kinds of high technology. The Prime Minister assured me that Japan has taken the necessary legislative and administrative measures to prevent technology leakage. I told the Prime Minister that I appreciated his actions and his commitment to the vigorous implementation of controls over exports of sensitive technology. The Prime Minister and I concur on the importance of the new Nuclear Cooperation Agreement. We believe it to be a good agreement, and we will exert our best efforts to have it come into force expeditiously. The Prime Minister noted that Japan's global trade surplus is declining and underlined his determination to address bilateral issues. I was pleased with his assurance that he intends to resolve a particularly difficult trade issue the problem of access for the U.S. construction industry in a satisfactory manner. We agree the Uruguay Round must succeed and that revision of the world trading system should include a comprehensive reform of trade in agriculture and services. I expressed appreciation for the Prime Minister's efforts on trade, stressing the urgency of expanding opportunities for U.S. farmers and other exporters at a time of increasing pressure for protectionism here in the United States. We concurred in the importance of keeping trade flowing and barriers down. For our part, I intend to continue my efforts to reduce our budget deficit, improve American competitiveness, and combat protectionism. We reaffirmed our determination to conclude a new science and technology agreement with equitable and expanding research benefits for scientists of both countries. I expressed appreciation for Japan's initiatives to provide more than $4 million in science fellowships to American researchers. We also reaffirmed the spirit of the 1983 U.S.-Japan Joint Policy Statement on Energy Cooperation. And the Prime Minister and I noted with satisfaction political developments in the Republic of Korea and our intention to help make the 1988 Olympic Games a success. We also pledged to do our utmost to help the Philippine government and its people in this period of economic adjustment. In sum, our talks were positive and forthright, and it's been a great pleasure to have the Prime Minister here with us in Washington. I look forward to being with him again in Toronto this spring. Prime Minister. え、大統領閣下ありがとうございます。え、本日大統領の北大統領と北のない意見交換を行い、その成果に極めて満足をいたしております。で、先月大統領の長年にわたる努力を通じ、歴史的な<笑> Thank you, Mr. President. I'm extremely pleased with the results of the cordial and candid, candid exchange of views I had with you today. Thanks to your efforts over the past years, Mr. President, the historic INF Treaty was signed last month. I look forward to its expeditious entry into force, and as one representing a member of the West, I am determined to firmly support the President in his pursuit of substantive progress in East-West relations, where much remains to be done across a broad spectrum of areas. <clears throat> また大統領と私は揺るぎない日米安保体制を基軸とする日米協力関係が 
アジア太平洋地域の平和と安定にとって不可欠であることを確認いたしました。私は大統領の協力を得て、今後とも日米安保体制の信頼性を一層強化するための努力を続けてまいります。私は大統領に対し、我が国が現行の防衛力整備計画の達成のため、必要な予算上の手当を着実に行ってきたことを説明をいたしました。The President and I confirm that the cooperative relationship between Japan and the United States with the unshakable security arrangements as its cornerstone is essential for the peace and stability of the Asia Pacific region. I will continue my efforts with the cooperation of the President for further strengthening the credibility of the Japan US security arrangements. I explained to the President that the Government of Japan has continued to provide the funds necessary for achieving its current defense program. Mata, Nishibe Anpo Taise, Ni, Fukakit, Na, Beiko Guntai, No, Nippon, Chiuriu, Ni, Tsukimashite. 我が国は雪中国自然の拡充に努めています。私は大統領に対し、これに加え、今般、在日米軍の財政事情を圧迫している最近の経済情勢にも鑑み、自発的な措置として、日本の負担額を一層増加する方針を決定したことを伝えました。Japan has also continued to increase its host nation support for U.S. forces in Japan, whose stationing is an indispensable part of the Japan-U.S. security system. Moreover, in view of the recent economic conditions adversely affecting the financial situation of U.S. forces, I noted to the President that the government of Japan has decided on its own initiative to increase further Japan's share of such expenditures. 大統領と私は、世界経済の持続的成長の確保と対外不均衡の是正のため、今日ちょうど主要国間の政策協調が必要とされる時代はなく、この中でも日米両国が果たすべき役割は重大であることについて、意見の一致を見ました。また、この目的を実現するため、共同発表に記されているとおり、各国の取るべき施策と相まって、為替レートの一層の安定が不可欠であることにつきまして、認識の一致を見ました。The President and I agreed that today, more than any other time in history, policy coordination among major countries is required to ensure sustained growth of the world economy and to correct external imbalances. In this respect, We agreed that the roles to be fulfilled by Japan and the United States are of vital importance. We shared the recognition that, together with the measures taken by individual countries, stability of exchange rates is indispensable to the achievement of these goals, as described in our joint statement. I am the President of the United States of the United States of the United States of the United States. 内需拡大に重点を置いた積極的な経済運営を行い、構造調整を推進し、市場アクセスの改善に努め、経常収支黒字幅の一層着実な削減に努める決意であり、88年度予算において、公共事業の大幅拡大を含む内需拡大型予算を組んで、準輸出の減少にもかかわらず、前年度を上回る 3.8% の成長を目指すとの考え,のと,考えとともに、これらの施策により、同年度の経常収支黒字は100億ドル縮小するとの見通しを説明し、高い評価を受けたところであります。Fully aware of the heavy responsibility commensurate with Japan's status in the international economy, I am determined to carry out a vigorous economic management policy. With emphasis on domestic demand expansion to promote structural adjustment, to improve market access, and to strive for a further steady reduction of the current account surplus. In this connection, I explained to the President that despite an expected drop in net exports, Japan's growth for fiscal year 1988 is now projected at 3.8%, a rate higher than the previous fiscal year. Through the formation of the fiscal 88 budget geared toward domestic demand expansion, 
with a substantial increase in public works spending. I also explained the prospect for a $10 billion reduction in Japan's current account surplus for fiscal 88 through these measures. The President highly appreciated my explanation. The President, on the other hand, explained that the measures for budget deficit reduction have been enacted based upon the recognition that deficit reduction is essential to the stability of today's world economy. I paid tribute to the President for his endeavors. え、with regard to various economic and trade issues which arise as a matter of course between two increasingly interdependent economies of Japan and the United States, the President and I confirm the basic posture that their solution should be sought in the spirit of cooperation and joint endeavors and with the aim of expanding and not contracting economic exchanges. I express my hope that a mutually satisfactory solution will be reached on the pending issue of access to major Japanese public works on the basis of the proposal that Japan has recently made. I also stated to the President the need for early resolutions of the pending issue of Japan-U.S. semiconductor trade. The President and I exchanged views on the trade bill currently under deliberation in the U.S. Congress, and I express my firm support to the President's determination to contain protectionism. 大統領と私はウルグアイラウンドの成功のため、今年が特に重要な年であるとの認識で一致いたしました。日米両国が率先してドーラウンドを推進することにつき、意見の一致を見たのであります。私は行動技術の不正輸出細胞子、再発防止の
フィリピン訪問の成果を高く評価したことに勇気づけられました。特に大統領と私は、秋の政権を引き続き支援していくこと、先の大統領選挙に見られるとおり、韓国が民主主義の道を力強く進んでいることを歓迎すると、すること、また、本年秋のソウルオリンピックの成功に向け、緊密に協力をすることを確認をいたし合いました。I express my views concerning the recycling of funds to the developing countries, including the quantitative and qualitative improvement of our official development assistance in particular, and stated that in the draft budget for fiscal 88, an increase of 6.5% over the previous year was secured for ODA. In this connection, I was encouraged that the President appreciated highly my recent participation In the ASEAN summit and my subsequent visit to the Philippines. The President and I affirmed, in particular, to continue our support to the Aquino government and to welcome the Republic of Korea's firm stride along the road of democracy, as evident in the recent presidential election, as well as to cooperate closely towards the success of the Seoul Olympics this fall. <laughs> 協力協定の重要性及びその早期発行につき認識の一致を見ました。大統領と私はトロントサミットの成功を記念しつつ、同地での再会を訳しました。大統領閣下、私は今時、首脳会談を通じ、日米関係の基盤を一層強化していたと考えます。私はこの基盤の上に、世界に貢献する日本を作り上げていく。ために全力を尽くしていきたいと考えております。The President and I agreed on the importance of the new Japan-US nuclear cooperation agreement and its prompt entry into force. The President and I, looking forward to a successful Toronto summit, agreed to meet again in Toronto. In completing, in completing my meeting with you, Mr. President, I feel confident that we have strengthened further The foundation of the relations between our two countries. It is my determination to build upon the spaces to make Japan a nation that contributes to the world. 大統領夫妻より、私および妻を歓待いただいたことに心からなる謝意を表明しますとともに、私どもに対し、米国官民の皆さんより示されたご根徳なお心遣いに対して、感謝をいたしますありがとうございました I wish to express my heartfelt appreciation to President and Mrs. Reagan for the warm welcome extended to me and my wife as well as our gratitude to the American people for their kindness and consideration during our stay Thank you very much Thank you very much Thank you Thank you